Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be in my formal living room and I'm going to be working on these two bookcases. Now I have four of these all together, but today I'm going to be doing these and I'll do another video on the other two and then show you the whole room. So before we get started, I want to show you how these books look here. Now these are some really old books that I have. Let me pull this. I printed off some paper from that Creative Fabrica and I've covered these because as you can see I got all these colors here. There's red, yellow, green, purple, brown. And I had it that way first but I didn't like the way it looked. And I know a lot of people turn their books around like this. It's not really a designing fad. It was something for cop copyright purposes on Home and Garden TV. But you can see mine are really yellow because I have some really old books. And I think it's prettier either just to keep them the way they are, but like I said, it wasn't gonna work with my colors, or to cover them with scrapbooking paper, like I have to coordinate with what you're doing. Now let's go ahead and get started on this shelf here. So the first thing I've done is added this piece. It's actually a candle holder, but I'm not gonna put a candle on it. And then I added this apocryphy jar that I have some greenery in. I want to add another one of these, but I wanted to put white in here, but I couldn't find any white filler, so I'm just going to take some of this white sand here that I got from the Dollar Tree. It was for another project, but I'm going to use it here instead. Kind of level this out a little bit. And I'm just going to stick in a battery-operated candle in here. And that will give me my white. Okay, and then I'm going to put the lid on it. And that is all that I'm gonna do on this shelf here. So now I wanna move down to the shelf below. Now I've gone ahead and put this finial here over to the left and I have another one of my uh, apocryphy jars that I put some of my green pears in because I'm doing kind of like black, white, green, and gray. <laughs> and then I have this little urn right here. I also want to add just a touch of greenery into here. I do have some live plants in here, but I don't want to put any on my bookcase because I don't want them to get ruined by overwatering, of course. <laughs> so we're going to work on this shelf here. I have another urn here that I've put on the book, and this is a piece that I did a DIY on. It's a, like it's a little vase and uh, just some more greenery right here. And then I want to add some of these hydrangeas here. Okay, so now we're going to be moving to the next shelf up above here. And I'm going to put this uh, French Country Pear that I have here on top of the book. And my next piece is this little uh, crystal vase that I have here that I'm going to set there. This was my mother's. And since I got kind of like a glass theme going on here, I thought it would be perfect for right here. Now that is all I'm gonna put on this shelf. So let's move to the top shelf here. And we wanna put the next piece on top of the books here. And it's just a, an artichoke finial here. And then I have another finial that I had done a DIY on. This was brown before and I made it look more French country. Again, we wanna put some greenery just to put that pop of green in here. And again, I'm gonna be putting the hydrangea little piece right there. Okay, so that is all that I'm gonna be doing here. So let's get some close-ups. Go in here. I think this is looking really pretty. This room is, um, the walls are beige. I got gray in here and white. And I have my plaid chairs in here, so they're kind of like a gray, black, and a cream color. So that's what I'm kind of going for my bookcases. We're just going to be doing grays, blacks, whites, or creams, and a touch of green. you got to have a little bit of green in here. And I'm kind of showing you all my little book covers that I did. I found a whole bunch of really pretty patterns and printed them out and then I just cut them to size and put them over the book. So you can kind of see that one's a little red right there on that book. Now if I was doing Tuscan, I definitely would uh, keep it this way. Now before I finish the video, 
I want to show you some pieces that I found for junking, a free piece, and some garage sale pieces. Now this first piece here is my junking piece. This was down the street on trash day a while back and I couldn't pass it up. It's seen some better days, but you know what? You just sand it and you paint it. And it's dirty too, but otherwise it's not that bad. It was a little rickety as you can see down here, but um, that is what a nail gun is for. <laughs> so it is all fixed up and ready to be painted. My next piece here is we had a garage sale in our neighborhood a few weeks back, and this was just sitting on the sidewalk saying, sidewalk saying free. So I couldn't pass this up either. You can see it's really nice size. You can see my vehicle there. And that's going to get painted too. All right, so let me show you. This is that piece that I just showed you in the beginning, the junking one, the cabinets all cleaned up. And these are, everything else you see here is what I found at the garage sale. And some of it is from the next weekend after ours here in our new neighborhood. It, our old neighborhood had their community. So I did get a couple things over there. So let's check everything out. Again, this is that cabinet. And we're just going to get close up there of that. that. I need to do a little fixing to it, but otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. It's really sturdy now that uh, put a few nails into it. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. I am going to keep that one. The other one that I showed you that was the free piece, I may uh, be selling that one. What I want to do is I want to do like an opposite stencil on these doors here where the stencil part would be clear and the rest of it will be white. We'll see how that works out. But that is my plan. Now this piece here is a uh, bulletin board and it's actually from Hobby Lobby. And I saw it and I was like, how much do you want for that? Because there's no price tag. And she goes, $3. I go, I said, $3? <laughs> I said, I'll take it. I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to do something different with it. I'm not going to use it as a bulletin board. And look, you get all these cute little thumbtacks with it too. I can't believe it. <laughs> $3. This thing is huge, as you can see. And it does say it's from Hobby Lobby on the back because I was looking at that. And it does have a little nick right here. But I'm going to be repainting this anyway. I'm thinking about putting this in my butler pantry. My husband actually gave me that idea. He says, you can put that in, in the butler pantry and use it as a chalkboard. So I can, I can, I'm going to do something different where it's more of a chalkboard. But let's look at the back here. And let me show you. You can see it's upside down, of course, but it's from Hobby Lobby and it was $70. So, and you know, I can't believe that this would go any less than 50%. So I'm surprised that she was only selling it for three. Because like I said, it's in very good condition except for that little nick on there. And I'm going to revamp it to have it more of a uh, chalkboard. And I'm going to be doing some white paint. I'm going to paint this all black again and then put white paint. And I'm going to be rubbing some of it off. So it will look a little chippy there. A little shabby chic. But uh, like I said, I couldn't pass that one up for $3. <laughs> now, these pieces here... We're from the garage sale at our previous home. And this piece right here, I couldn't believe it. Look at this. Uh, this is $3. $3 is what she had it for. And uh, I love it. It's wood. It's galvanized metal. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. but And these two picture frames here were at another home. And my husband actually got a nice big suitcase. He was looking for a really big suitcase. Um, and these were there too. He got a suitcase. It's huge for $3. And these were 50 cents a piece. So couldn't pass that up because he could just put some cardboard in them. And I'm going to use them probably in my shabby chic room. I don't know yet. But you're talking a dollar total there. And then look at this berry and pit berry right here. This was at another house. And they were just laying there. And so I asked her, I said, how much do you want for that? She goes, a dollar. I said, for both? The total? And she says, yeah. I said, I want them. <laughs> Can't pass that up either. So I think I scored pretty good that day because what I have, uh, one, a $5 that day. Yeah. And then I spent $3 on this 
at the previous ones. That's pretty good. And of course, the two cabinets were free. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet, but I don't know. I, I couldn't pass them up. They're great for spring. I guess they'll be even good for uh, fall and winter when I decorate. All right. That is going to do it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I could give you some ideas for decorating on your shelves. Now, again, on Friday, I will be having part two of this video. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day and I will see you on Friday. Bye for now.